Guys, this is what's inside of the center channel of the Phillips 5.1 system. Look how many drivers there are. One, two, three, four woofers, and one tweeter. That is crazy! Although, um, one of them is damaged because of the cover. But, we got a cross over here. Where the terminals come in. And you got just here, you got these two cables that are there. It's 12.5 watts each. So, yeah, they're pretty cool little speaker drivers, though. If I actually take one out and see, oh, the wires are quite thin too. Well, wow. oh, hi guys. Uh, one, eight screws. Sorry, Damien, I can't answer you right now. I'm busy. Apologize, guys. Um, one of my mates, um, his name is Damien, um, likes to call me every now and then, and I can't right now because, well, he knows that I'm recording the video, and he's been so disrespectful, it's... Unbelievable. You got them right there. You got the speakers there. You got one of them is damaged over here. So it's this one here. Which I had a feeling it was this one here. So if you have a look for yourself, guys. Got tweeter in the middle. You got the left side and you got the right side. Alright, that's the left and that's the right because the unit's upside down, but yeah. And the tweeter is a hundred watts. Are you serious? A hundred watts for a tweeter like that? Right, the woofers are so much bigger. The magnets are so much bigger. That's impossible that they can take a hundred watts. That is impossible. Completely impossible, guys. You think? Let's just say if I hooked up that tweeter to a subwoofer amp, there's no way you would survive. There's absolutely no way. It would survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight screws that belong onto this part. So, uh, yeah, it's cool though. I really thought um, this system, this, um, Center channel would actually have a uh, a piezo in it, but no, actually didn't. Surprisingly, I can't believe it. Actually, has a real tweeter in there too. Unbelievable. And I did not know that that actually had a crossover in there too. I did not know. I like to hold it down every now and then so it doesn't come off. If I do these other two screws, I'll be able to start the uh, thing. I'll be able to start the 
Alright, yeah, I probably won't need to do a uh, speed video today, just like I did in a previous video. It's part two of the yeah, teardown series of this. Um, in a previous video, um, I done the subwoofer and an introduction to the system. Because I thought it would be pretty cool. You know. Now, I already know that those there. That's a piezo, and that's a real woofer. So, yeah. The reason why I had this speaker here is like, I'm um, so just sit there in case, like, just had to sit in there and not lose them. But, very, very interesting setup in there, too. Very interesting. Apparently, um, also, Damien was trying to say to me, apparently something happened to him, but I do not believe that, because... Let me tell you guys something. He lies, like, all the time. Even when he's with me, he lies as well. About, like, oh, something's happened to me, Jacob. But I do not believe that at all. That's the main reason why I do not trust him that much anymore. I trusted him perfectly fine when me and him first met though, but not anymore. So each of the woofers are actually like, um, 12.5 watts, and the tweeter is 100 watts. How is that possible? I mean, how? Yes, yeah, in concealed closure. And sealed enclosure like that. Can you notice which of the woofers is actually destroyed? Like partly destroyed. Oh, you can easily see it because it's this one here. The other three are okay. It's like the tweeter is almost like the same size as the cone area in here, too. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> There's only like eight minutes long, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys.